Well, I guess this is it, huh? The final episode of Trading to Glory for EIFC 24. And not by my own accord. Boys, I'd keep this series going to the end of the year. The end of the cycle, I might say. We were going to do a great finale in August. It would be a banger of an episode. But EA have different ideas. Because today, when I logged in to sell cards that I was flipping for Division Rival Rewards, I was greeted with this message right here saying, My account has been disabled. The trading to glory has been disabled due to a violation of EA's terms of service permanently bro uh, blocked from the product. And here's the thing. I haven't bought coins on the account. I haven't sold coins, transferred coins on the account. I haven't done any glitches like the squad battle glitch. Nothing. And banned. Just like that. No coin wipe, no warning, no transfer market lock. Permanently banned from the product itself completely. That's a bit drastic. So I figure it's got to be something a little bit deeper. Unfortunately, getting banned in EAFC 24 when you did absolutely nothing wrong is not uncommon, though. Whether it's a coin wipe, a transfer market lock, or a permanent ban, they've been handing them out to everybody just because you sold an evolution card for max price or bought an evolution card for max price. And a few more people got coin wiped a few nights ago as Unique Riggers tweeted this out just three days back about more people getting coin wiped when a new evolution drops. And I even tweeted out a couple weeks ago saying just don't snipe evolution cards. Do not sell evolution cards. Do not get involved with them. It's too dangerous. Why play this game with EA knowing that EA do not understand their own market. They do not understand that these cards are going up because of evolutions and they ban you for it thinking that you're transferring coins when you're not. And Fuso, who's one of my close friends, I've been actually helping him out a lot this year. I've been in DMs with him a ton. He's basically showed me every single play he's made this year in terms of trading and he bought a Pedro Neto for his evolution. He got coin wiped. It was only 250,000 coins, but the reason this is significant is because he disputed it and he didn't get his coins back. They said, and literally said, that they made the right decision. When they obviously didn't. And this could happen to you too. As you can see, I tagged EA Sports FC Direct, Sheldon Rogers, and Foot Economist. The reason I tagged the main channel is because they're supposed to communicate with us. And they have not been communicating whatsoever about this issue. I tagged Sheldon Rogers because he's the community manager. And I've messaged him quite a few times back and forth on Discord before. And he didn't answer either. And then I figured, let's tag Foot Economist. This man was part of the community like everybody else. He was a big part of the content creation scene when he was part of the community. I actually collabed on some videos and streams with him. We were always in each other's Twitch stream. I thought we were pretty good friends. I know he's a good guy. Let's tag him. At least he'll say, hey, we're looking into it or something. But no, absolute radio silence from everybody. And now that that was back a couple weeks ago when I was just tagging them to help other people, now I am banned. Now I'm the one banned, so you best believe I'm going to use every single resource I got, and I'm going to reach out to you directly. And so I DM'd them privately on Twitter and Discord, and let's see if they responded. Well, no, but they saw it. They left me on red. Absolutely aired. And I'm not sure if that's because when they joined EA as an employee, they turned into pricks like the rest of the company, or the more likely scenario, EA has instructed them to absolutely say nothing on this subject and do not acknowledge that it's an issue. And so my only option left was to go to EA help, which can be quickly translated to, if you're resorting to this, you're f and when you get to EA help, it gives you a Bible of different issues that could possibly be wrong with this game that you might need help with. And of course, mine is I want to dispute a ban or suspension. But when I click on that, it gives me email customer service, which is about as useful as price ranges in their game. Not very useful at all. I don't really feel like talking to a robot. So instead, I clicked on I need to report a real life threat, which is wild that that's even an option, but that gives us an option to chat with us. And I'm not saying that this is morally correct or the right thing to do, but all I'm saying is I'm back into my account now. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you ever do find yourself in a life-threatening situation, you can either A, talk to Brennan with EA help, or B, call the police, and I would suggest doing the latter. I'll be honest though, EA, you cost me about 100,000 coins in extra profit because I missed my sell point for my division rival reward flips. So I expect that also credited my account by the end of the week. I'm just kidding about that part, of course. I'm very lucky that I got my account back. Everything's still there. I'm, yeah, I lost a little bit of coins. 
I'll survive. That's not an issue. The issue is the fact that I am one of the lucky ones. And there are so many people that have gotten coin wiped, transfer market lock or perm banned that have disputed it and then not gotten their stuff back. And EA double down and say, yes, we made the correct decision by banning you. The person who's been working all week spent $40 on FC points just to, so that they could buy their evolution player just to get coin wiped. And these egotistical millionaires can't even respond to us on Twitter saying, hey, we're looking into the issue. And so what I'm suggesting is that we start making it a much, much bigger issue and start having a larger voice to actually fix this problem. So I'm asking you to bombard them with messages, whether it be on Twitter, their forums, etc., saying EAS FC Direct, your band system is broken, fix it, hashtag FC24 is broken, and maybe we'll have enough pull to make this an issue big enough to where they respond to it. Now, I'm not a big YouTuber by any means, but if I could put my energy somewhere, it might as well be into something that could help a lot of innocent people down the line. Now, I'm not saying that every single person that has been banned is innocent. That's definitely not the case, but I would go out on a limb and say that a majority of people that have been banned this year or coin wiped or transfer market locked are innocent and it's probably more safe to buy coins than it is to trade with evolution players this year that shows you how backwards it is and all i'm asking for is a little bit of communication from ea saying they're going to fix this issue to protect the innocent players and everybody draws their line somewhere i'm somebody who's definitely against cheating and then you've got to define cheating. Now, for me, I think that auto buyers are absolutely scum. I think sniping bots are cheating because it negatively affects somebody else who's trying to get that card on the market. But when somebody's squad battle glitching, does it really negatively affect somebody else? You don't need to get banned for that. Of course, EA need to fix it, and they have, but you don't need to ban somebody for something that doesn't negatively affect somebody else. Like buying FC points, buying coins, I really don't, I'm not that against it. But when it comes down to it, the current system, I think we can all agree upon, it's broken. And that is what needs to be fixed. No matter what side of the fence you're on about any of those scenarios, it's a broken system that needs to be fixed. And I think everybody can agree on that. But the good news is that the trading to glory is not dead. It lives on another day, and I'll be getting in to some of those triple threat out of pack investments. I'll be talking about FC Pro Live, the new promo, how to make coins on the game right now, as long as you're not banned or coin wiped or anything like that. And so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Comment hashtag FC24 is broken down in the comments, and I'll drop a heart on everybody who's comment who does so. And if you enjoyed the video whatsoever or agreed with me on any points, make sure to drop a like on the video. It helps it do better. I'll see you guys again in the next episode of Trading to Glory. Peace out.